Welcome back. For your health now, children and broken bones, hand in hand with the warmer weather, right? As kids are back out playing outside, the risks are higher for broken bones. Dr. Roger Lyon of Children's Hospital of Wisconsin is here to talk about that. Doctor, thanks for being thanks, here. Sir. Yes, unfortunately, a very timely topic. It Can, is. Tell us uh, what kind of bone breaks you guys usually see uh, at Children's about this time of year. Well, this is when we start having all the kids uh, doing all their climbing and, and uh, mm -hmm. activities with bikes and things. So we see a lot of uh, wrist fractures, mm -hmm. uh, wrist area fractures and elbow fractures, of course, from falling off the monkey bars or climbing trees or whatever. Now, I think real often uh, parents would think at first glance, well, boy, these are a lot of sports injuries, things like that. But I, I, I bet you there are a lot of just falling down, falling off the jungle gym, things like that. Yeah, it's, it's probably around 50-50. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, uh, certainly there are a lot of sports injuries. But uh, yeah, kids, kids just being kids is, is a lot of it too. So just falling down from doing their regular activities, you know, a lot of people think it's, it's the sports that's the, really the issue, but it's right. just kids being goofy. You know, I, I, we tell this story over and over in my family. My brother was a little guy, got his arm rolled over and ultimately it was broken, but my old man sat on it for like, I don't know, six or eight hours telling him, you know, oh, there's nothing wrong with you, quit your crying. <laughs> Eventually, we of course took him in and, and he felt so bad that he discovered it was broken. So how can you tell parents, you know, what's the difference between a kid just whining a little bit that you yeah. need to take some ibuprofen and be done with it versus something where they need to get in? Right, well, it, it, is, it is tough and it's, it, I mean, I hear that story all the time. <laughs> Dad and, didn't take us in. Right, and then, you know, whether that's so-and-so uh, -so didn't take, take the kid in or not. But I think that the, really the thing to look at is, is this persistent? Mm -hmm. You know, is the kid bouncing, is the child bouncing back right away? Is, is there swelling mm -hmm. or is there deformity? Uh, those are the things that are, are need to be seen pretty much immediately. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if, if it's not deformed, there's not a lot of swelling, you know, you can, you can sit on those things for, for a while without anything, any real downside other than feeling just very embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Sorry, Doc, we were almost out of time, but I wanted to make sure you got this in. The, the treatments and the casting and the things that you can do now are different than they were years ago. You know, if parents are sitting here thinking, boy, we got vacation next month, my kid's got to swim, you can set them up with some different options. Oh, definitely. I mean, this is the time of year uh, that not only do we see those new kind of fractures, but um, we have uh, a lot of waterproof uh, material now. Mm -hmm. And so it really, a lot of times, doesn't really affect the, the vacation plans, the swimming plans, especially in Wisconsin where summer is king. Right, you gotta do it now, right? Exactly. All right, doctor, thanks so much for being here. And if you need well, any more information about Children's Hospital of Wisconsin and broken bones, you can head to todaystmj4.com and click on our links page. Here's a quick look at tonight.